My name is Gregory Hamilton, and this is the Highway to Heaven and 88 Steps. And today is day 24 of one brick and one day, and it led to 24. 24 karat? You know, we all want the gold, right? And we have to work very hard to get the gold. And now that you've got all the gold, what are you going to do with it? You're going to sit there and protect it and hoard it and become a miser. Yeah, it's coming up on Christmas season right now. We all know famous Grinch stories and Ebenezer Scrooge. So when people are asked, what is it you want? A lot of times people just say money. And they don't even know what then they'll do with the money. They'll go out and start buying a bunch of 24 karat Hoping it buys some happiness, right? So all this hard work is not so that we can buy our happiness. Yesterday we were talking about visualization and how can you visually, excuse me, how can you blindly be visualizing? Does that even make sense? I did a lot of stuttering there, tongue tied. So if you're not aware that you're talking to yourself and if we don't take the time to stop and ask ourselves what is it that I want to do with my God-given life with my God-given talent to bring happiness to myself God and others then we're constantly going to be chasing that 24 karat and if we're blindly visualizing what does that mean well if you do get that money that you've wished for and you've now been magically given and you have it you're going to visualize the next person that has a bigger bag of carrots it just never ends when you want the the substance, the substance will never be enough. Now, you have to have money, let's say, to allow your dreams to come true. And so this is the whole thing. How do we balance our life within this mental and physical? Everything's paved in gold, We right? We want our highway to be paved in gold, but it's not going to be for us we're going to lay that pavement of gold and it's going to be behind us so others can have it we're going to keep building our bricks and laying them forward when you start living your dream and you start thinking about what you want to do with your God-given life you're going to go out there and be in a type of focus and a, and, and a happiness within yourself that will generate a mood around you. The people around you will feel that paved gold behind you. Okay? Does that make sense? So, how can you, like, if someone like myself, I didn't have any money, so what did I do? I went out and achieved the type of dreams and jobs that I wanted to do. So one of the things I did was I became a scuba diver tour guide. And I would hear daily affirmations of people coming from all over the world. This was in Maui that I was working at. And people from all over the world would come in daily. You're the luckiest guy in the whole entire world. Well, see, their, their visualization was blind of seeing just one aspect of what they want. You know, they've gone to their, they're doing their rat race wherever they were. They took the week off. They've come over to buy happiness. And then they see somebody else living a dream. And they think, wow. Okay, well, this was wonderful. I enjoyed this job. It was a great thing. But then after a while, it became a job. 
your attitude changes. I'm trying to buy happiness or find happiness. And so you have things that change in your life. Okay. When I left that job, there was multiple reasons, but one of them was that it was a very dangerous, dangerous job. And I found out that I was risking my life too many times to save others. That was their choice to be out there doing that. It's my choice to be out there to help them. But there, then there does become a point in time. You have to ask yourself, what is it that I want to do with my God-given life? And sometimes when you're doing your thing, there's going to be hazards all over the place that will help remind you that maybe you want to be doing something else or that it's time to move on or just be aware of your surroundings. So as you go through life, your carrots are gonna change, okay? But it's gonna be the visualization that will keep you focused on your highway to keep you going so that you know what it is that's gonna bring you happiness. We've got ourselves built a highway. We've got now paved with gold. Let's go buy a brand new Corvette to drive on a brand new highway. This will bring us happiness. It'll be awesome. But will the payments that come along with it be worth it? Okay. So what we're trying to do is keep freeing ourselves and freeing our mind. And by the way, we do that is by keep analyzing, looking at our notebooks, seeing how things change and ask ourselves, is this really the carrot that I thought was the happiness that I was going to achieve from it? Okay, Because all happiness, as we've stated many times, is in the mind. Go to Disneyland and do a head count and ask yourself, is every single person happy here in the most happiest place on earth? Most likely the guy with the wallet isn't so happy. But, this is my point, it's all mental. So, remind yourself that what you think you want, there's probably a deeper, deeper level of what you're looking for. It's the whole reason why we're asking ourselves this stuff from the very beginning, right? So don't get lost with fool's gold. The only gold that's worth anything is the gold right here in between you and God. And that's your highway that you're building. So I pray for you and I pray for America.